It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how we keep up with you is through the comments. Also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it uh, whenever you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Leo. But remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever leo leave the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought for today leo a perspective for you to consider but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so with all that being said leo let's jump into your weekly tarot reading today and seeing uh, we're going to firstly be taking a look at the archangel that steps forward to you uh not archangel but angel that stepped forward to you in this oracle deck leo see what's the theme of the week for you guys and you guys got simakiel uh the angel of vengeance so ooh, did someone piss you off leo something going on here honey what's going on here um <laughs> i feel like this energy is kind of self-explanatory in the sense of where um I kind of feel I'm being shown like the justice card, oddly enough. So it kind of rights being wronged. So if you feel like you've been wronged or maybe you wronged somebody, Leo, I mean, hello. Um, but we'll go with the narrative, obviously. If you've been wronged recently, I kind of see things, those right, those wrongs being right. Also, side note, my little Leo, my, not my little Leo, my Leo, it is over, it's right now 106 degrees, darling in washington no ac darling so if you notice me being moisturized darling that would be why no shame honey at this point we got to get these readings in darling you can't have my leos without their reading honey but also i point out for this leo um in this deck the artwork speaks heavily in terms of getting out the message so something i want to point out here that's bringing to my attention and i'm also about to honey we need to have create a fan here makeshift a little fan come on now leo <laughs> fan of myself as i give off this message something i want to point out though leo is with the hole in the angel's head right here so something i want to kind of give a forewarning to leo is if you guys are having any type of um i don't want to say vengeful feeling but any type of like you know be honest with yourself leo is there like an energy or a person that you're sitting on and kind of being resentful towards or having some type of because i just feel like there's some type of just something distracting you in the matters of your mind leo something that kind of has you know and almost in a way i would say disempower you because you notice even with this like the third eye is not relevant here as well so it's almost just like this you're not able to move on from the situation just until like maybe something's addressed until this wrong is has been right right so let's get into this a little bit deeper for you, Leo. We have the Ace of Swords coming in here. I like this a lot. So talking about new ideas. Ten of Wands coming in here. All right, we'll do one more, darling. And then the Nine of Cups. So there's definitely been some type of situation that you feel kind of like you got the raw end of the deal, right? Or not the very pleasant end of the deal here. Because with the Ace of Swords here, coming in here with the Ten of Wands, this is showing to me someone that's starting to, or probably already has been in this process of identifying um, things that they need to change up. Especially with this Nine of Cups here, it's this sense of something no longer being fulfilling, almost. And so when you pair this with the vengeful energy here, it's one of those things that I feel like my Leos have been patient with somebody or with the situation for long enough in hopes that they would treat them properly or just give them the respect that you deserve, Leo, right? And I feel like it's just gotten to the point where you're feeling, there's like feelings of being taken advantage of or taken for granted. Um, and I really just get this sense of frustration from you with when it comes to the situation this week. And then the judgment card. Yeah, I feel like uh, overall, this is kind of giving me a theme, Leo, of where you guys have the ability this week to really make the action call on something that's going to be probably pretty spooky just based off of the judgment card coming in here giving the sense of where maybe perhaps a lot is on the line with this right or it's going to just take a lot out of you or a lot in you to stand up for yourself in this way um but i really do get this let's do one more card 
yeah, tower card. This is going to be pretty disruptive for you, but I feel like this is something that you have been craving, something that you've been needing for a while now, Leo. I know for a while now you guys have been craving like a change of pace in some way. And so with this tower card paired with this judgment, this is showing to me that you are the one that's in control of sweeping the rug off of somebody else and righting some wrongs. Um, definitely, I do just get this sense here where it's just like some wrongs being right or being corrected, uh, Leo, and having the scales being back into balance something feels just out of balance right now for you leo that you're trying to address so taking that as you will leo take that as you will let's continue on let's see what messages what heads up spirit's trying to give to you this week leo in terms of what you should be looking out for we have the king of pentacles coming up in the reverse for you so definitely naturally just based off of your other cards the number one thing to be looking out for this week is to kind of brace for impact essentially leo is something i want to say it's like brace for impact brace for um things to be a little bit uncomfortable right now especially when you come when you consider the king of pentacles usually is the one that's building up empires um this is usually someone who feels extremely um sure of themselves and able to really create so when you have this in the inverted you might be having doubts in like your own ability to sustain yourself after you make that judgment call that leads to that tower moment right and maybe that's been like your issue here or problem when it comes to this judgment right being wronged is where it's like you've been biting your tongue leo because you've been trying to avoid a bunch of pain or you've been trying to avoid like the stress that naturally comes with this situation honey so let's go into this a little bit deeper right let's do three cards we have the four swords coming in here we have the wheel of fortune coming in here in the reverse for you leo and then we have the queen of swords coming in for you so really what's being suggested to you this week leo is take this time to really build up some heavy boundaries um because i'm getting that you're going to be experiencing a lot of shifts uh, this week, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and with the, you're having a lot of impactful cards. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I can't really sugarcoat this, Leo. This is probably going to be an extremely stressful week just from all the moving parts going on here. But I really do feel as if, like, <sighs> I almost want to be bold enough to say, Leo, that during this time of where you might, and it's going to sound strange, but I feel like during this time of where you might feel a little bit isolated, this is probably the best week for you to just keep your distance from everybody. I feel like the best thing you can do, especially as the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords, is to have your moments, Leo, of where you are able to feel fully comfortable in being weak. When you have this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for you, um, I really am kind of concerned for my Leo's mental health and just how they're taking things. Um, while all this shifting and up uh, upheaval is going on, right? Um, I don't feel like you're going to have really... F you're, it's probably going to be like a sense of where you don't really have a stable sense of grounding, um, Leo, and not sure where to... Like, yeah, I feel like you're going to need to make a conscious effort, essentially, to uh, have some points of relaxation or points of disconnect from all the mess is something I just want to say, Leo. Definitely, yeah, like this is definitely one of those weeks where you're just gonna be riding the course a little bit, for sure. So now, Leo, let's get into the good things that are in the works for you this week. Let's see what good things are coming for you, darling. I really just want to emphasize, though, uh, Leo, with all this change happening in your life, I really do, like, and we'll see, obviously, with these cards, I really do feel like you're being set up for something really beautiful, right? When I just, like, I've been, I've done, like, thousands of readings at this point, Leo. Um, when you see this type of theme with all these major arcana cards, this shows to me, like, just very much so reminiscent of where it's just, like, a lot of chaos needs to happen before some beauty, right? So Leo, the card you get here is the strength card in the reverse. So this is your card in the reverse. So if you haven't been feeling yourself recently, Leo, um, through all this, I really do, as odd as it's going to sound, I really do feel as if like these wrongs being right. And this is probably why I was being shown those scales of where it's just like, I feel like after this week, you're going to be stepping into feeling a lot more comfortable with yourself again, feeling a lot more with feeling a lot more like yourself definitely like having a, a heavy weight of like depression being lifted right let's get some clarifiers six of swords coming in here in the reverse coming in with the seven of wands and then the hanged man card 
So, Leo, in this situation here, like, here's something I want to just give a heads up on, is that during this chaotic time that this week is going to be for you, you know, you might be prone to trying to just capture, like, save everything that you're trying to save, right? You may be trying to cling on to certain things and just not letting, like, the like the flow of things just naturally happen. This is kind of a message, uh, Leo, in that, and especially kind of get the sense this is about a person, of where it's just, like, let people experience their emotions, let things kind of ride themselves out, because I kind of get this sense that other situations are going to kind of, like... Things that you feel like are going to be removed from your life that might freak you out, that you really want to be more permanent in your life, perhaps, right? Um, I feel like there may just be like a temporary like scare or where you feel as if like this is not going to be part of your life anymore. And I kind of feel like this this is more so of a message of where it's like, Leo, do not freak out, right? Um, at this time, um, things that are supposed to be relevant in your life, things that are supposed to be... Uh, Let's see, one more card. Eight of Swords, yeah. I really do get this sense of like a heavy insecurity, Leo. Not wanting to lose something, right? I really do feel like there's something in your life that you're really desperately just like, I'm seeing someone just trying to grasp at strings. Like, I feel like there's something that you're really not wanting to lose. And, and for some reason, I use the word insecure, but it's almost just like, this is almost like your safety blanket. Something that's like your safety blanket or makes you feel secure in your life or comfortable. Um, kind of, you're, it's going to be having a little bit of a scare this week. And I'm tr more so coming in as a message where, message where it's just like, don't freak out, Leo. It's part of the course, right? So take that as you will. I don't know, Leo, if you guys have been stressing about like a certain situation panning out in your favor. This is very much so like one of those things like I am just re actually getting if you guys recently like tried to like make a deal with like God, you know, when people say it's just like if you just get me through this, I promise you X, Y and Z. Right. I feel like some of you guys have made like a deal about something to have something re stay in your life or like be relevant in your life for a longer period and i feel like this is that read spread is more so as an answer where it's just like your prayer is being answered i may even just title your video that way leo where it's like your prayer is being answered because i do feel like that's kind of like the main theme for that um so now leo let's get into your social situations this week and when i say social i mean more than just your social uh relation or you're more than just romantic right we have work relationships family siblings you have everything platonic so let's see we have the new moon in Gemini coming forward for you, Leo. Communication is key. So definitely this is going to be a week where, um, well, let's pull some cards first, especially when it comes to um, the social aspect when it's talking about communication is key. What are we talking about here, right? But especially with the new moon card, this is talking about a new beginning because it is the new moon in Gemini. So new communication with somebody perhaps. Six of cups in the reverse. So someone from your past, um, Leo, definitely. This may be even correlated with what I was feeling before or what I was just talking about, Leo, where it's like maybe this is a person from that you've had in your life for a long time that you've wanted to just... Like, you don't want to lose them, but maybe there's, like, a rift between y'all or something's just going on between y'all, honey. Um, can talk it out, right? But Six of Cups talks about um, some type of, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It feels like there's going to be some type of uncomfortable conversation. Uh, Leo, if you're not getting communication from this situation quite yet, I do see it coming. It just may be slower than what you would like it to be, right? Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but it is the knight that has the best intention on trying to... Um, go forward with growth, right? For the betterment for the both of you guys. So with the Six of Cups here, I do feel like this is more so speaking to my um, Leos that have some type of deep connection that there's been some type of distance with for a while. Um, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Paired. Why is this Queen of Wands here though, darling? Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so Leo, there's something about, you may not even be aware of this initially. I'm going to be honest, Leo. You could be getting a random conversation from somebody who you noticed there's some distance between you and that person for a little bit. Um, but you didn't, you couldn't explain why, what's been going on. Because it's showing to me this person coming in here um really had something going on in their head i don't know if there's like sense of like feelings of like jealousy um feelings of where 
they were having like an uh, existential crisis, essentially. I don't know if like what you were accomplishing or what you were doing, Leo. Like essentially it feels as though most like your presence in some way or what you were just doing, Leo. Yeah, you just thriving, Knight of Wands coming in. Like you kind of just doing your own thing, kind of had someone else in their head and in their feelings. And I feel like there's almost like a misunderstanding going on here that you're completely unaware of. Like someone in your life, Leo, processed something or took something in a way that you just just weren't even aware of and they kind of kept silent about it and just been distant and i see them a conversation coming to fruition for you guys so um yeah good message for that just kind of a random never had that happen before we have never had that kind of a format of a message step forward all right now leo let's get into your career and financial situation this week let's see what's in the works there for y'all right let's tap into that a little bit we have the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. So Leo, if you've been playing it safe recently, if you've been dimming your light and not really cranking up your personality or really pushing yourself in some type of way to 100, this is the time to really do it, right? If you've been having reservations recently, Leo, in terms of your business of avenues that were for your finances, for your financial gain or your career, um, growth. This is definitely a time where it's like, I would say, honor your thoughts and just really just do it. This week, show the world the real you is really a message of where it's just like the thoughts, feelings, and the actions that you're taking are all and taking you to the right path, right? So really the best thing, like the only thing that, the best way to go about growing at this point, Leo, is just continuing on with what you're personally feeling and not trying to compare yourself to others and try to do something how some, just because someone else was doing it in that way. I do want to say, uh, Leo, yeah, Magician card stepping forward. Like this is, the Magician card is the one that is handles their own future by their, like they create their future by their own hands, honey. They know what it is that they're doing. So Leo, if you've been getting a lot of unsolicited did advice recently um i kind of would say let it go through one ear and out the other this week darling and y'all already know if you're not new to my readings leo i'm a person that loves to celebrate collaboration so when i'm telling you that four of wands yeah you guys have your eye on the prize leo you guys are what it is you're actively doing is taking you to your goal taking you to where you need to go don't worry about, don't involve yourself with unsolicited advice. Six of Pentacles, everything's in balance. The more you're putting into this situation, the payout's going to be coming in nicely for you. So don't walk away from this. Eight of Cups coming in here. Um, actually, no, I want to retract that. Not the saying that don't walk away from this. The Eight of Cups more so is a, as a message. Leo, this is where the heat got to me for a moment. I just saw a woman walking. I'm like, don't walk away, honey. <laughs> Without actually the card, the heat, well, heat will do to you, honey. But with this Eight of Cups here, this is the card of someone going to bigger and better waters and trusting their intuition. Now, in this artwork, Leo, unfortunately, you don't see the moon. In fact, you see the sun. Um, but usually with the Eight of Cups, you kind of are going into uncharted territory. You don't know something's going to work out you just feel it in your gut that it's going to work out and i feel like that's kind of your journey in terms of your financial career leo is you probably probably would identify the most with the eight of cups so now leo all that being said as i'm continuing the sweating like a racehorse darling before i end this reading for you let's get you a quote card right i don't want to take apart my fan honey so let's get you a quote card because y'all know leo i love me a quote so let's see what quote we can take with you for the rest of the week so this card says leo i'm unapologetic about what i desire and trust the Trust that what I focus on will grow. So what was I just saying, Leo? Keep, maintain your focus, right? I'm going to read it again. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Doesn't this kind of summarize the message of the Eight of Cups, right? You trusting in the process. You are unapologetic about what it is that you feel, you're feeling because you know where it is that you're going, right? So continue staying the course, Leo. The worst thing you can do at this time is just having, like, allowing, like, that five of swords energy, that doubt inside of you that will slow you down, right? Maintain the course. Um, don't worry about, like, definitely things are going to be coming into balance. If there's been some type of wrong, something that's been wronged in your life, I'm getting this message of where it's just like, don't, you don't have to be the one to make that right, that wrong right. I feel like karma, like, this is definitely like a karma message coming in, like, it's going to be taken care of, Leo. So, yeah, that was the weekly 
tarot reading that I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for your patience as I am giving this message, looking like a sweaty pig, darling. Um, I hope you found some messages that resonated with you in this tarot reading. If you did, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did, darling. Um, also, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me where I'm not nearly as sweaty, uh, my website is simplyvelka.com. It's in my description box below. My, uh, my social medias as well are down there, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything, darling, is just Simply Velka. And yeah, I hopefully I can connect with you guys sometime in the near future where I'm a lot less sweaty, honey. And yeah, I love you so much, Leo. Bye.